Hey there, YouTubers. So I get a lot of questions on the channel, some of which I can answer right away. Some I uh, have to do some research and some I just have no clue what y'all are asking. But hey, we try, right? And if you haven't heard back from me, um, it's probably because I, I just don't know the answer. Um, so what I have here is uh, a 10th gen Intel Celeron on top and then below we have the 9th gen i3 9350kf in this video i'm going to quickly talk about uh, whether the lga 1151 fans are compatible with lga 1200 and, and what i've found so far because the manufacturers have you know pretty much done a lousy job of updating their information the uh, sellers like amazon and newegg have uh, done a lousy job i haven't checked recently so maybe they've updated some things but uh this is this is you know what I have found. So as you can see, these guys are really pretty much uh, dimensionally the same. There are some uh, differences, you know, ever so slight in the uh, um, features of the piece that actually covers up uh, the CPU. Um, you know, this of course is where all the heat transfer is done with the thermal paste. But uh, you know, as you look at that, it's like okay. That looks pretty good, right? So dimensionally about the same. Now internally, uh, the new 10 Gen has 49 more pins, some differences electrically, mechanically, but uh, you know otherwise they look pretty good. So let's put them side by side, because um, some of you might not have access to be able to do this. So boom, right there. And if we look at it this way. If I can get them, they are the same height, right? So that tells you uh, this looks pretty good. Now, the fan that comes with the tensions, uh, at least what we have here. So all these um, came with uh, a CPU cooler. And four of the five came with this one, which is the exact same model, I believe, that I had with the 9th gen. Now the i7-10700 came with this one, which is a little upgraded, uh, mainly in this cabling, and I believe there might be some differences internally, but uh, pretty much the same size as those other fans. So I have installed the following LGA-1151 fans. Uh, this Noctua one here, this Cooler Master, this Ninja 5 Scythe, and then the Arctic Freezer 7X. Now this is the only one that they've actually updated the box to say it's LGA 1200 compatible. So I am now willing to say, folks, that pretty much um, if you buy an LGA 1151 fan or you have an LGA 1151 fan, that's going to work with your LGA 1200, right? So um, I have, like I said, installed it. Here's the Skype Ninja, and this is on the uh, Z490, which you probably can't see, but... Uh, it is working really well. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.